Yeah, last week Tina talked about Advent and the focus was hope. So Advent is the first the four, four weeks before Christmas. It's like a waiting for Jesus to come. So this week focuses on peace. Um, and what is peace? It's kind of like a calm feeling. Um, and um, and there's um, the Christmas story talks about peace also um, and the angels appeared to the shepherds and they proclaimed peace on earth that's in Luke 2 14 and Jesus brought about peace too um, when he was born um, and in the world um, in the most unexpected ways um, but some of the Jews wanted a rebellion and they wanted their Savior to overturn the oppressive rule of the Romans and bring about peace in a violent way so they wanted him to be more like a, a mean king um, but Jesus didn't do that. Um, he uh, gives us peace in many ways. Um, he gives us inner peace. Um, because of his work on the cross, we have a chance to receive salvation and then be indwelled by the Holy Spirit. And uh, this grants us an inner peace. Um, not only do we have the peace that comes from our insurance of salvation, we also have the peace of mind, knowing God will heal the broken world and come again. Um, also, we can have peace with others. Uh, we can put aside our differences, um, especially with other believers, because we belong to the same family, and we have the same purpose to let others know about the peace of Christ. Um, the peace of God allows us to look at others through heaven's eyes and help guide the world to see God's kingdom. Um, and peace from God, um, biblical peace, allows us to trust in God's promises. And um, through, I mean, even though the world is scary and dark, um, we can still have peace through Jesus. Um, and the Bible talks about peace. Um, it says here, the Bible mentions peace 200 to 400 times. Um, that's a big increment. But <laughs> um, and the Bible says we can guard our hearts from the devil because of peace. Um, peace brings us joy. And peace is a blessing from God. Um, and, and again, like I said, in a scary world, a violent world, uh, the peace of God can give us well, peace and calm. Um, so we have to you know, rely on God to give him that peace um, in this world. Um, let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are the God that gives us peace. The second week of Advent causes us to remember that because of Jesus, we can experience a Christmas free from turmoil and chaos. Regardless of our circumstances or our situations, you offer us peace that passes understanding. Um, and during the second week of Advent, uh, we can focus on peace um, and let our minds stay on the truth of, of the Lord's love. Um, thank you for your mighty sovereign hand and help us trust fully in you and rest in the peace that you offer. Amen. Good job, Jennifer.